To rejoice in the Lord, how do you do that? Literally, practically, how can you be happy? The life of a Christian is not easy. And for me, growing up, going through life, experiencing trials, to hear rejoice in the Lord, it didn't make sense. To be happy when you feel like your world is literally falling apart. To try and be content and joyful and encouraging other people when you can hardly breathe, let alone think. To be told rejoice in the Lord, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem practical. And it doesn't seem like something you even want to do, even if you could. But when you have a relationship with God, and it's based on the fundamental principle that God is love, you're then able to apply that principle to every single thing life has for you. Every single trial, every single hardship, every single heartache, you apply the principle that God is love. And that means anything that is happening, it's because God loves you. Anything that's gone wrong, it's an act of God's mercy. Sometimes things have to go wrong for us to realise that God isn't happy with us, that God isn't content with where we are at in our relationship with him. We see that in the story of Joshua. They went to war and they failed. People died because God was displeased with the way things were in that camp. And so their defeat caused them to think and question what's gone wrong here. And through that self-examination and that reconnection with God, they were able to achieve victory in the end. So how do you rejoice, practically be happy and content in God? You remember that God is love. And that's a simple principle that you can apply to any and everything. God chooses to use us as his representatives. When we go out into the world, we are representing who he is to those that don't know him for themselves. So when we go through life and we're miserable, when trials happen and we get stressed out, we're painting the picture that God is a God that doesn't love us, that doesn't care, let alone is able to deal with the things that we go through. But when we are rejoicing in the Lord, we have a joy that no one can understand. We have a peace that no one can understand. And when we are going through life and people are watching and they're seeing, oh, hold on, if that was anyone else, they wouldn't make it. If that was anyone else, they wouldn't understand. They wouldn't be able to smile. They wouldn't be able to laugh. How can you be going through this thing and yet you can be happy? They will know and see the Christ in your life and they'll get to understand who he is through us because our calling is to represent Christ to the fullest. You can't represent somebody you don't know. So only through a relationship with God can we truly reflect who he is by getting to know Christ, spending time with him, getting to understand what it truly means when we read in the word that God is love. What does love look like? Is love mean? Is it miserable? Is it tasking? Or is love kind? Is love uh, an element of contentment? Does love go above and beyond to make sure that we are okay? When you have that principle in your mind, you truly represent Christ to the fullest and you live life in a way which people will see the God that you serve and people will come to know and love him for themselves. And that's our calling. So when we rejoice in the Lord, it's not a call just for our lives so that we can be happy, but it's so that we can prove that our God is a God who loves and a God who can take care of any and everything. And when that God is shown to the world, who could say no?